All right, Rich Gonzalez here with Brian Weaver, the coach at Buchanan High School, and this weekend Clovis for the 2022 Cross Country Nationals, Nike Cross Country Nationals. Uh, third place, I know it's a, once again a very successful season, but it was one that's always a challenge, especially when there's a target on your back. Uh, how was this the finish for you guys? It, it, it was great, you know, to come here and be part of this. It is truly something special, and uh, battle with so many people and teams it's absolutely amazing to come out and get third place is just a testament to the challenge of the meet and the competition here and and what the girls have endured throughout the whole year and come out with the third place is pretty impressive I know during the course of the year there's always challenges for every team yours was no exception you know some individuals with injury just various things sickness and so forth um Again, when you're number one, when you're highly ranked nationally in a sense, you're viewed as a favorite, it can even add more pressure. Uh, how, how bad did it get this year for the squad and what was the focus like? You know, I, I think the, the pressure of the rankings, it was felt, but with all the illnesses and injuries, that kind of was always put on the back of their mind. They just kept trying to get healthy and we had seniors that went on some trips. Um, you know, which, you know that was that was a challenge of making college decisions right in the middle of the year as well is tough for kids. Um, so, you know, it, it's in the back of your mind, but you're just trying to do what you're supposed to do. And our team is so deep that you know it was also trying to just make the team was was hard on some of the girls. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Coming to this weekend, what was the message to the team? Have fun. Really? Yeah. They they really needed to find joy in the whole process and the whole thing you know um you know it's it's been a rough year we've had kids at the last minute get sick or last minute injured and so we never really got in our groove and and it was very stressful even after the state meet mm -hmm. it, it was hard it was hard watching a teammate go down for them um and to deal with that and you know it was just come here have fun go out there be the best that you can and, and i think they really did a good job with that they they really enjoyed the whole process and Honestly, I think Niwot really helped our girls. We were with them on the bus a couple times, and they started becoming friends and laughing together, and I think that that kind of like put that a little more at ease as well. Very good, very good. Uh, curious, as far as, I, mean, I know you've been coaching for uh, a while now, a lot of success, a veteran coach. Uh, yeah, I would think there's always things that coaches learn about themselves during the course of their career. Anything in particular this year that you learned about yourself? <laughs> yeah, um, I think... You know, throughout the year, it was like people say, oh, the kid's ready to go. And I'd be like, yeah, they're ready to go. And, and things change at the last minute. And being able to handle that, even as long as I've been coaching, was a huge, huge challenge. Huge challenge for me. And because you want to see what you can really do. You want to see him put it on the line. It's like, we're there. Oh, But the thing is, we had other kids really step up in those places as well. So our success was not just the seven. No, we, I mean, we go down to 10, 11 deep that helped us win some major races as well. So, um, but yeah, just being able to handle that, it's like, okay, let's, let's race, come on. Yeah, so that, that was tough. Kind of in, in wrapping up, just from the outside looking in, but just seeing a lot of the programs out there, a lot of the top programs out there, it seems like it's tougher to coach nowadays for all coaches. Is that, is that a fair statement? I, I, I think that's a very fair statement. You know, it's... Everybody endured a lot. Like, you know, there's talk about the kids and everything, but coaches just trying to keep their programs together and, and keep kids motivated was really, really hard. To keep a kid motivated to continue training with no races or very limited races, it, it was hard. It was hard on the kids, and it's, it's hard on the coach. And, and financially, things have gotten expensive, and, and that's a challenge too. You know, you really got to watch your pennies a little bit more, I think, as a coach and programs, um, you know, which – which is, was it just, is, which is a challenge outside of the whole thing that the kids even know. So just the whole thing, it's, it's, it's been rough, but it's seeing the kids, you know, out there and dancing and getting together, having fun, laughing, talking with coaches, um, getting to getting, meet people that I've never met before. That's what it's worth, it. you know, watching the girls go up on stage and get their awards. That, that's, that was really exciting for me. Last question, what was your message to the team after the race today? Oh, well, um, I think the first thing I said was, you know, now was that fun or what? I think that was the first thing I said. I was pretty far away from them. I was out about 500 yards out, um, kind of getting on them because we were tied for third, and I was kind of 
like you, you guys need to go right. and we did a great job that that last part um but i think you know what wasn't that fun and you know it's not a little bit of joy so right. and they're like yeah that was great so outstanding yeah. great explanation point to the season yes brian weaver from clovis and buchanan high school congratulations thank you appreciate you guys right.